Today at the Carefree Kitchen, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some amazing, spicy Italian meatballs. And these work great for an appetizer or to put on your favorite pasta dish. They are so delicious. All right, the first thing we have is this hot sausage, and you can definitely do medium or mild sausage. My family likes a little bit of spice, um, and if you're doing this just plain, it would be pretty spicy, but since we're mixing it with half beef, um, we have a pound of sausage and then a pound of beef, and this is actually, let's see, 93% lean, 7% fat, so this is pretty lean here, but we have a few more things that are gonna help these uh, meatballs be really tender and have a ton of flavor. Okay, and so then these are Italian breadcrumbs, and you can use just panko breadcrumbs. And if you don't have any of these, you can actually use cracker crumbs, or you can make your own breadcrumbs. Those are really easy. And then I have some Parmesan cheese, about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. You can also use the grated Parmesan cheese for this. It works fine. Um, this is a half a cup of heavy cream, and this is important for giving that like moisture to your meatballs, especially if you are using lean ground beef. So cream, then we're gonna use a couple eggs, some fresh chopped parsley, so pretty. And then it calls for some minced garlic, but I'm actually out of minced garlic, so I'm just going to sub in about a teaspoon of dried garlic and then a teaspoon of onion powder and then just a little bit of salt. And then also I just put down a sheet of parchment paper on a baking sheet and this is gonna save a ton of mess. This is just a large baking sheet you would use for like cookies or whatever. And then you also want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees so it's all ready to go for your meatballs. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my sausage and that is about one pound of sausage. And then I have also a pound of ground beef that I to put in there. Next, I am going to add half a cup of my breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, some cream. Get all that out of there. I have my onion powder and my garlic powder, a little bit of salt, parsley, and then I have a couple eggs. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a spoon here and mix this all up. You can definitely use your hands or you can even um, just use some gloves. Anyways, I'll be right back when this is all mixed up. All right, here is my meatball mixture and um, you can see all the yummy herbs and spices in there and the awesome combination of sausage and hamburger. So now I'm just going to roll them into one and a half inch balls and set them on my baking sheet. To make the meatball, you are just going to roll it in your hands. And I know it's a little bit slimy, but it is worth the extra effort. So there you go. And then we'll just put it on the baking sheet. After you've rolled your meatballs into one and a half inch balls, place them on the parchment paper about an inch and a half or two inches apart from each other. Bake these meatballs in a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the internal temperature of the meatball reaches 145 degrees. All right guys, so here are my spicy Italian meatballs. These are perfect as an easy appetizer with like a little bit of marinara and some melted mozzarella cheese. You can put these into a pasta bake. That's actually one of our favorite ways of making it. It makes the best, hands down, spaghetti and meatballs and also a really killer meatball sub sandwich. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode at the Carefree Kitchen. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and I will show you all kinds of easy and fun recipes that your family will love. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This meatball recipe is perfect for spaghetti and meatballs, for an easy appetizer, or in a pasta bake with your favorite kind of pasta.